So there is a video which uh, people are terming to say that it's a it's an Inkanyamba video. I don't know if you guys have seen the video. Now, for those that don't know what an Inkanyamba is, it's like uh, some spirit or mythical spirit being that's spoken about by traditional healers and so forth and Zangomas and stuff. And so they say that they have powers from this thing, they go there. Now, by the way it's spoken about, it is not a physical thing. It is like you can't physically go there and see it, right? Um, but then also, if you're a Christian, when you read the Bible, it's very clear that there is a time when these evil creatures will be seen. There is a time when all the evils of the world will come out. At the moment, that's not that time. <laughs> Okay, yes. Now, so for people that say, oh, no, they, they're not there. They are there. It's just that their time for the release or the time when these things can be seen visibly, it's not yet here. And it's not an alien. We're not, we're not talking about aliens. We're talking about demonic figures, that demonic beings that are either helping people with wealth and what and all these things, all that kind of ideas. These things, they are there, but they are not visible or physical, okay? They are not visible or physical. The time when these things will be visible for all people, the Bible talks about it. Yes. <laughs> the Bible talks about a period when creatures with, with a scorpion bodies will be up on the earth. When when beings that will be tormenting people here on earth, not in hell, no, 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 here on earth, where there will be all kinds of men, and the Bible says the, the angels that are holding back the, the evils of the world, they will be let go. They will let go, and all kinds of things will, will, will rain down on earth. There is a time for that. So we know very well already, you, you already know my, my position basically then on this video. <laughs> okay? And so, but on this video, I'm going to analyze the video to show you why this one, it's not. It's not, uh, it's not, this video is not real. Why I say it's not real. So, already I've told you the biblical side. Ne? Yes, there's a time when these evil things, you read Revelations, you'll see what I'm talking about. When all kinds of creatures will be up here. The Bible talks about the beings that will be tormented. Emunah. Read Revelations if you want to see what I'm talking about. You don't read your Bible, yeah, you don't know. But let's play this video. So they say this is the... So basically, the Nkanyamba, I don't know, it's a serpent being, basically, from the underworld. And so this one looks like it has a horn that's created. The horn sticks out. It comes straight towards the camera. The person is not even moved. And you can see the body, the supposed body of the Nkanyamba, as they are saying. And it's very big. And it goes round. You can see the head now back there. And the tail is still back here. And here it goes over his, the rest of his body. Comes up. Uh, so let's give it a second. And then here he looks much, much bigger. And so, is this real? There, you can see him much, much clearer. Here, he clearly looks like a snake. But the, the colors differ. And then comes here, comes here, comes here, all the way down here. Look at this. This is where the visual trickery really do fall a little bit off, right? Um, completely remains above the water for this entire period. It's almost like it's carving the water right at the top. And uh, that's where the first visual trickery falls off. Right there. Look at that. Completely over the, the water. Like there's nothing with weight. Okay? A being like that with weight. Uh, let me minimize this, 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 this a little bit right here. The, a being with weight okay, cannot completely remain above water at all times. 
Okay? Being with weight cannot remain above water. Like the whole body, all things. So here at one point, you can see the body is completely visible. That's impossible. Even when you are laying over water, there will be parts of your body that are in water, some are up, up above. And so, and for the size, again, for the size of this creature, this is not visibly, this is not visibly possible. Okay? Some parts will be inside. So here, the visual trickery for me falls apart. And then, but the person who did this is very, very good. Second thing also, it's this part here. When this being is whipping the water as if he's eating something or what's going on, when, he is, when it is coming towards this direction, the person who put the camera doesn't seem to be moved. If you saw a creature like this, even if that creature can't come out of the water, you wouldn't sit there. So the person who was recording this, where was the camera? Where did they place the camera? So for me, that's another area of visual trickery that's going on here that I don't understand. And then there's a bit of silence and so forth. So, uh, and it goes silent and then there is this here. Now the word for FX, it shows that for me, it might be, yeah, it might be the name of the person who made this video, okay? Might be the name of the person that made this video of course, there might be other people that might try to use it otherwise. Another thing again, uh, yeah, it's very convincing, very nice for visual. <laughs> but is, it, is this particular spiritual being in Kanyamba? No, this one is not real. Also, the body size of it continues to change. Here, he, he looks serpent-like, very lightweight. And then when he turns around, comes back, goes, starts going that way, the weight of the body looks much, much bigger. Here. Now someone might say, no, it's because some parts of the body were submerged. Like as I stated, it goes against the first principle that I mentioned. That part where the whole body is above the water, it goes against that idea right there. Another part of why this video for me is fake come back here when it whips the water right you see here this bubbling that's happening it fades so quickly it doesn't go beyond here the water here it's so calm so this uh, entire thing that's going on here it's a visual effect it's basically um they made this using a different software then they superimposed it and the color of that water over this being. Where, and you see that by this was just a normal water. So the camera that's put here was put to record a normal dam. Okay? So this shows you that this is also visual ticker. Because the water does not, the water is not affected the way you would normally have water affected over. Okay? I'll give you an example. Okay, there looks like it's moving. You see the waves. They seem like they're deforming. And what? And by by the way, with uh, softwares nowadays, you can actually do this. Uh, real, uh, real engine, Unreal Engine, you can do this. You see this part? A wave like that wouldn't be that silent that quickly. Look at that. And then it fades. The, these bubbles don't stay or move past this area here. So they superimposed it. And you see here, right there, there's another trickery right there. You'll see the ear part gets cut off right there, there, right there. It got cut off right there, there, and there, right here, when it's here. Okay, I'm going to play it again. It gets cut here, and then it, gets, it comes back and it gets cut again there. So that's another area where it shows that this is not a real thingy. Okay, yes. So in case they were duping you, <laughs> I know it's on Facebook, it's all over the place and stuff like that. This is visual trickery. Someone maybe they are doing, they do this for movies or they are trying to get into the movie industry, especially people who do visual effects. Uh, it might be on Fiverr.com, which is an indie, for independence. So people go learn the skill 
they showcase their work there so that people can hire them. So this might be the case with this video here. Someone who's trying to showcase their work. And then someone went and took it, probably, and used it to say, this is what this is. Uh, this is, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. And so looking at all those particular things, but don't forget, if you are here, if you are still here when the church gets raptured, I don't know how you lose born. I use it. <laughs> you are really waiting that right? you may see these things. It will not be nice. Don't think these things are friendly by any means. These things hate humans. Yeah, they will make you rich, but they hate humans. They do so to so that you may self-destruct yourself. They are very destructive in their nature. They don't mean well. They will not do well. The trick is actually to show you daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos done today, they'll be down in the pay comments, and I'll see you on a later on. Y'all have a good one.